The following is a non-profit fan-based video. Bleach is owned by Tite Kubo, Studio Period, Viz Media, and TV Tokyo. Please support the official release. Deep into the series of Bleach, jumping into the final arc called The Lost Agent, Ichigo feels helpless and isolated after his fight with Aizen. Seventeen months have passed, completely devoid of any spiritual power or awareness at all. All of this happened because Ichigo had no choice but to use the final Getsuga Tencho. He began losing all hope of regaining his Soul Reaper powers, but soon after, Ichigo meets Ginjo Kugo, a man claiming that he was able to restore Ichigo's powers with an ability called Full Bring. However, the next critical threat did not take long to follow. Tsukishima. Shukuro. Tsukishima is cold and collected in most things he does, normally appearing calm and even carefree. Even when overwhelmed and injured in battle, he is able to maintain his composed nature. Taking advantage of this unemotional nature, he is very cautious in battle, never acting without purpose or a plan. He is sociopathic and immoral in nature, completely uncaring about the emotional torment that those indirectly affected by his full brain go through, even enjoying it as he mocks their pain. He is also sadistic, purposely pushing the victim's trauma until they suffer mental breakdowns from the fake memories starting to conflict with their real ones. Holding an extremely dangerous and most unforgivable ability ever introduced in the Bleach series. The name of Tsukishima's full bring is Book of the End. Personally, to me, the name itself basically implies that the book is meant to be a person's memory as a whole. Tsukishima's full bring manifests itself in his bookmark, which he can transform into a katana that has a bookmark-shaped tsuba. Ginjo remarks that the Book of the End is a sword that has high attack capability that can literally cut through anything. Book of the End has two cutting methods. One which can injure or in fact kill an opponent, and one which can insert Tsukishima into the target's past. In addition, he is capable of doing both simultaneously. Insert Presence. Book of the End has the ability to split the past of whomever it cuts. This ability works not by manipulating time and memories, but by literally inserting Tsukishima's presence into the victim's history. The victims of this dark power recognize Tsukishima as someone closely connected to their personal lives. Whether it is a family, friend, or a lover. He can even usurp the roles of other individuals in the victim's histories. Likewise, Tsukishima gains comprehensive knowledge of his victim's memories. This power takes hold regardless of whether the victim trusted Tsukishima before being cut. Tsukishima can continue to modify his victim's histories even after cutting them. However, if they realize that their altered pasts are inconsistent with reality, they are put at risk of mental breakdown. By cutting an unaffected individual again, Book of the End's effect on that person is dispelled. Book of the End's power also works on inanimate objects. For example, by cutting the ground, he can modify its history to alter its structure and set traps there as though he had done so long ago. By cutting a person's weapon, he can gain complete knowledge of its techniques, including their weaknesses. As with all full brings, if Tsukishima dies, all traces of his ability vanquish, returning his victims to normal. With this horrifying ability, it must be taken into account that Tsukishima can easily turn those closest to Ichigo against him and use them as pawns in his sick, twisted game. It is truly one of the most disgusting abilities ever to be seen, enough to make a person's stomach turn. It is a sinful ability that Tsukishima has no problem using, regardless of what he is doing to those around him. All that ability leaves behind is a path of destruction, distrust, suffering, and heartache. Ichigo's friends still trusted him, but there was one big problem. The individuals who were unaffected by the Book of the End, such as Ichigo himself, they were left out and seen as the ones who were truly crazy, as mentioned by Ginjo. Ichigo was definitely not on board with the idea of having Tsukishima control his friends and family by altering their memories. Can you guys even imagine how much pain it would cause you if someone turned all of your loved ones against you and left you as the odd one out? Ichigo, without even being cut by the dark ability of that which is the Book of the End, started to go crazy himself because he didn't know what to say, do, or even believe. At one point, we had reached the darkest point in the show where Ichigo punched Tsukishima in the face for tormenting his friends and family. But with everyone asking Ichigo to apologize to the man who had cut them all down, Ichigo soon lost his mind and ran away from everything and everyone he originally wanted to protect since the beginning of time. His mind falling into the abyss, constantly doubting himself again and again and again, being seen as a crazy individual who randomly acted out and created nothing but conflicts. 
That is the true terrifying power of Tsukishima. Its power not only alters memories, he can turn people against others who are close to each other. He can easily replace your father, your uncle, your cousin, or brother, doesn't matter. Without a second thought, even if the bonds are strong, it is truly seen as one of the most terrifying abilities of all time. Just one cut from his blade will have you believing a false reality of a life that you never lived. And it can in fact last forever until the user of that ability dies or nullifies the ability. Tsukishima's ability deeply symbolizes his past. Before Genjo came along and changed his life for the better, Tsukishima lived his life alone and isolated with nobody to call family or friend. The dark ability that envelops his blade is his past itself, enabling him to set himself into other people's memories and create bonds between him and his victims that were never truly real in order to shield himself from his loneliness. Do any of us truly know how it feels to be lonely and isolated? By conquering the ability of Book of the End, Tsukishima defies reason and is able to happily walk alongside complete strangers, filling the gap between himself and others. The big question here is, can any of us truly fathom how it feels to be alone? Could you further imagine how it would feel if nobody wanted you to even be alive? That pain can turn you inside out and leave a deep scar inside your heart, changing you into something you're not. Bonds can only be forged by hardship. They can be broken. But bonds can be rebuilt all the same. Tsukishima was never truly the bad guy. He looked up to somebody who truly recognized him as an equal. Little did he realize Tsukishima had the same thing going for him. He had somebody by his side, somebody who truly looked up to him, somebody who never left him, someone only who saw him as a hero and nothing else, somebody who was not affected by his ability. This person even said, I value your honor over my own life. Tsukishima was blinded from so many things that he had been doing, the horrible wrong things, and he had somebody by his side the entire time, looking out for him, looking out for number one. With a dark enough past, it can only lead to the path of destruction. The only reason Tsukishima had this ability is because he was alone from the beginning. He found meaning in his life after meeting Ginjo Kugo. But soon after Ginjo was killed by Ichigo, Tsukishima lost all hope of living on. Just like in the past, he started to feel like his life had no meaning and that his book had reached its end. Constantly screaming out that Ginjo never taught him what to do if Ginjo were to die. But at the end of this story, in the end of the book, the book of the end, Tsukishima had somebody looking out for him. Always. Never abandon hope. Never abandon who you are. Because there is always somebody who is looking out for you. Never try to mix false realities with real ones. It will just blind you from the truth. Always hold on to what is real and do not hold on to the past. Nothing can get in your way. You can easily change your future. You can always form new bonds with people. You'll never have to feel like you're alone. This is Book of the End. Seikaku